very, very different company, right? I mean, you're talking about the viability of selling advertising. You're talking about selling, um, you know, language uh, to large language learning models uh, and selling their basically AI companies being a big customer. That was unheard of 10 years ago. It was also unheard of for Reddit to really be a mainstream news source um, 10 years ago. It was really a, a kind of dark corner of the internet at that point with a lot of pornography, a lot of um, a lot of hate speech. And um, it's been a remarkable journey that it's been through to kind of clean up that um, make its content modern um, content moderation modern, and it's become sort of a model for that. Well, and such a, it's come a, a long way, it sounds uh, take us to the uh, exchange earlier today, you were down there. Uh, tell us about stuff new and what else <laughs> the activity was at the New York Stock Exchange as it got ready yeah. to make its debut. You know, I walked into the lobby of the stock exchange and there's just a, a stuffed uh, snoo, um, which is the a little round alien that is the company's avatar or mascot. Um, and I saw a, a security guard sort of <laughs> coo at it, which was very cute. But then um, ringing the bell on the floor um, at 9.30 a.m. was not CEO Steve Huffman. It was a human, I assume, in a like large stuffed snoo suit, um, <laughs> which I think, you know, was sort of meant to stand for every man. Not, not a be, dark not place a anymore, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was very cute, you know, I mean, <laughs> so, so I think they're, they're trying to appeal to their core audience as well as investors, right? They need to keep their users happy at the same time as they've gained a lot more shareholders. Hey, talk to us a little bit about that balance, Christine, because, you know, it's not necessarily Reddit's not necessarily a place, um, you know, look, there's a niche for everything on Reddit, I think it's fair to say. But the attitude of, of the users is not certainly one of 100% supportive of this company going this route. So how does, how does Reddit uh, walk that line and, and, and keep that balance? Yeah, no, absolutely. Users um, are, are quite skeptical. There are, you know, hundreds, thousands of posts on the site from users expressing skepticism. Oh, what happens when Reddit needs to make more money? Does it start charging us? Does it start, you know, d does the selling of the content start to become something that inhibits more speech on the site? Um, you know, there's there's a lot of skepticism and it is very important for, for Steve Hoffman and the other executives at Reddit to listen to those sentiments and keep users happy. Um, he did say in an almost AMA earlier this week that, you know, he does listen to users and that site revolts such as the one that happened last summer are very valuable to him um, and, and are a learning opportunity because, you know, the users are the bread and butter. They need to keep growing those users to keep growing those advertising money. Advertising is still their primary and they said in the S1, they're, they're really only way of making money right now. So it is, it's very, very important. He really wants to get over a billion users and they need to keep the site very, very friendly and growing um, and avoid those sort of user revolts in the future. Well, that's what I was trying to get to earlier with um, Ed Ludlow. I want to go back to you. We're listening to Christine, but this whole idea of kind of what this, uh, this site has been like, and I know they've cleaned up some stuff, but I do wonder, like, what is that balance of bringing in advertisers? Mandeep earlier talked about their already bloated cost structure that they maybe need to work on that, but also they need to raise their user base. I mean, there's a lot of things that they're going to be juggling now as a publicly held company. The nerds was published 2018, I think I'm right in saying, but that, that's like a really interesting year because that was the year that Jen Wong um, joined, right? And, and I'm sorry to keep going back to her. It's not just that I interviewed her earlier, but like, I, I think a lot of people would credit Jen Wong with, with operationalizing Reddit and making it into a proper business. And by the way, she's like a really significant shareholder, more than 2 million of the shares outstanding, more than Steve Huffman as it stands, because he has a complicated comp package. And, and I just wondered uh, if you could reflect on what you think the tipping point was um, in, in Reddit growing up as a company a little bit, because it was so influenced by the community, right? You know, the moderators moderate. Christine, come on in on that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do. I mean, I do think that there was this really interesting moment when, do you remember back when Ellen Powell was briefly CEO? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was interim though, right? That was on an interim yeah, basis. But, 
she i think everyone intended for it to last and she um you know literally got harassed out of the role um by users but what she did this very important thing is she basically isolated and cut off or started to cut off five different communities that were just full of hate speech on reddit and it was super controversial at the time and it has since over the past decade become a thing that reddit does all of the time you know reddit now has a whole set of rules and a whole different structure of moderators that was influenced by that very first step that you know back then researchers found that just eliminating those five communities had a really interesting trickle down and eliminated or it slowed hate speech throughout the entire site I mean that was I think this turning point I think hiring a more advanced sales force hiring Jen were also very important you know steps for the company um, but it's it's still you know it's still a work in progress and any site that relies on a community of unpaid moderators, you know, like Reddit does, um, is it's going to always be a battle, right? 